I got my start in baseball when I was around two or three from my dad. He, uh, he loved baseball from when he was a kid. So he introduced that to me and I've loved it ever since. Being a captain to me, junior year especially, it was an honor because not usually juniors are named captain. And so I was captain junior year and then I was appointed again senior year and I lead by example. I'm not the most vocal person, but now senior year I've been becoming more vocal and still leading by example. I think I'd miss the most all the like the family that we have here and all the students and players that come out to watch and come back to the program because they have how great it is and what legacy it has. A highlight moment for me was my freshman year. We traveled to North Carolina for a tournament and uh, I was only a freshman so the first game we were facing the number one team in the nation and I led off, or I didn't lead off the game, but I got a key hit in the first inning to get us a run and that led us to winning the game and winning the tournament eventually. Um, I'm a part of a couple outside of modern day baseball groups. Um, I go to FAM, Fellowship of Athletic Monarchs. So another one is Miracles for Kids. That is where like on holidays you would take like a care basket or a care package to a family who's less fortunate and can't really afford all those things such as like this year I did Thanksgiving and Christmas. Thanksgiving you give a turkey and supplies to have a Thanksgiving dinner and then for Christmas you'd give gifts and stuff like that so that all the kids can have a fun holiday season. People that I aspire to be like and who inspire me are my parents for one. They keep me playing, they keep me going and they are there for me whenever I have a bad game or anything like that and then all of my coaches that I've grown up with and played with have taught me all the things that I am not right now, the player I am to be right now. So, Playing baseball has taught me to not dwell on the current situation because baseball is a game of failure. So if you dwell on that, it'll eat you alive. So you just have to learn how to move past things and just look to the future because that's all that matters. Having faith in baseball, especially at modern day, is key because faith is preached there. And just in baseball especially, having faith, it allows you to get through tough situations and it allows you to know that God has a good plan for you. Mm -hmm.